If every hole had a sphincter, that was gonna be really dirty. I can't see it. Look, my head's out. Hey, welcome uh, back to our stupid ranks. It's Ian Corbin. I'm Rick. You follow us on Instagram, it's the Twitter, Facebook, 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 Faceb
the Shah Rukh Khan and Kajol. Yeah. Next, we're kicking things up a notch at Two Indian with their blazing red spicy concoction. It's really red. With head chef Ahmad, we are in the restaurant Two Indian, and he's going to talk to me about his special recipe here. What we are doing is they're making lalmas. The basic ingredients of lalmas is the red matania chili. So you see, oh. the color of the chili is so dark. It is so red. It's so spicy. Nope. <laughs> So that that is what the dish. The ketchup, not right. Your face is gonna burn off. Lol, ha, that felt loud. Ha. Lol, mas. Lol, mas literally means red mutton. It's a meat oh. curry from Rajasthan. The version made here at Two Indian just happens to be spicy as heck. Do you have any tips on how I can survive this experience? Uh, no. Lalma starts with mutton that's marinated in ginger garlic paste, mm. plenty of red matanya chili, a whole host of Indian spices, yeah. including chili powder. Finally, wow. yogurt, and the whole mixture marinates for about 45 minutes. Time to fire up the old kadai, throw in some oil and spices, including some more chilies. We add all those raw kara spices. <laughs> like food spices, yeah. cardamom, cumin, uh, bay leaf, cinnamon, big cardamom, green cardamom. We need to add onion and then we need to add ginger garlic paste again. The uh, marinated mutton. Even more chili powder and other spices are added and it's cooked on low heat until it becomes this demonic shade of red. <laughs> Adding a bit of cloves and clarified butter on top of a coal to add a bit of smokiness. Very cool. Location one was just a warm up, but now we're getting into the real thing. Yeah. <laughs> Would you try that? Yes. yes. Along with the lamas, yes. we've got some roti ah, and lassi. This roti. Is basically a base and the lassi, of that'll help. And I like bread. Down. On the side here, we have the lassi. Exactly. Lassi is a blend of yogurt, water, and sugar. Perfect Yum. for staving off the heat and adding lassi some balance to oh, heavier so Indian meals. We're going to eat it with some of this bread. This is some romali roti. Romali means handkerchief, everybody. And it's the thinnest roti in all of India. Okay. Warm up? Yeah, just warm up. Just to see what we're dealing with here. Let's go for it. <sighs> okay. Ooh, it's sneaky. It's good. It actually tastes really amazing. Yeah? The flavors are outstanding. Very warm. All right, let's add a little bit more. That was just a tiny little sample and I can feel the fire in my chest traveling down you to my stomach. It after like five seconds? Oh, yeah. I felt it immediately and even more after five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It looks like a crime scene. <laughs> blood. I've got my super thin roti right here. I'm just gonna sop up a bunch of this sauce. I'm gonna put some yeah, meat yeah. in. Oh. Look at the the color, the shade of red. It's the shade of death. Death. <laughs> I'm gonna try even more. Listen, I don't like these shows where they try the spicy food and they're like, oh, I'm just gonna have a little bit. Oh, it's spicy. I'm gonna just really jump into it here. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> that is spicy, but it's pretty tolerable. The spice is adding the I flavor, don't, I don't not agree. just heat. Exactly. The heat is building yeah, inside yeah. you. And I died in Rajasthan. Warm coming from my <laughs> chakra region. So you don't even need lassi? No, I don't need no lassi. <laughs> Did you eat any? I am. I'm oh, eating. it's a little spicy for you. <laughs> I heard that. Do you hear that? She was doing that like. <laughs> Take a little bit. I'm gonna okay. be a match for you. Our third destination is still left. That's true. I love it. It's spicy, but it's a welcoming spice. Mm -hmm. It doesn't bust your door down. It knocks on your door. Mm -hmm. It says, "May I please come in <laughs> and, and share the good news about spice?" Thank you probably favorite. need to eat, finish all this, then I'll have you let's see. Then we're done. <laughs> 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 All that remains is going head to yeah. head with Nikita. This is what I want to see. Take on India's hottest pepper. I am with Bunho here at Nagaland <laughs> Hill number 19. And today, mm. we're going to be trying the hottest pepper in India. I'll have you know, I just ate some mutton curry and it was seasoned with Rajasthani chili pepper. Mm -hmm. It was very red. Okay. Is it going to be more hot than that? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I can assure you. What is the best way to eat this? The best way is uh, in chutney. The taste comes better in chutney. A chutney is no a ground up yeah, sauce. It's, it's Today's be ghost pepper pain. chutney includes five peppers. Each is roasted, then they're ground up with some salt. None of the spiciness is wasted. Like every bit of hotness is going into the chutney. All the seeds, everything is crushed up in there. Oh, good. Some tomatoes are also roasted, skinned, and ground up along with the ghost peppers, creating a salsa from hell. He just made <laughs> here. He's gonna sample it. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny. It does look like salsa. He's got. He has, he has almost nothing here. Sample it. <laughs> no. no. 
<laughs> is it really that bad? It's spicy? Oh no, what am I doing? He ate almost nothing. It looks innocent enough, but on the other side of that spoon is a pathway to pain. This genuinely seems like a bad idea. We could just you do that. We don't have to do this. We started it. A, li a little bit. I would, I, just, I would taste I would taste a teeny bit of it. So Nowhere near that much. Rice and we're ready to eat. First of all, the owner- I would have the roti with the rice. She's going to a movie theater or something. <laughs> She's sitting there ready to watch the show. Yeah. Good. So we're gonna scoop up some rice? Yeah. Yes. This is a very simple chutney and I like it because it's gonna be the full flavor of the pepper. There's five peppers inside. Can we smell it first? You what? Yeah. It's gonna burn. Okay. It singes the nostrils a bit. It's kind of like gasoline. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. That much. Should Seriously. we try a little first? Or should we just go for it? Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Oh I my goodness. Myself, I looked at the owner and she just went. Uh, Don't touch your eyes. Like that. A full on bite the hottest pepper in India. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, He's God. unimpressed. Here, cheers. He's going to regret that. Okay. I can feel like there's something there's something wrong. I don't need to do. There's something wrong. Uh. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I'm like <coughs> I'm on the precipice of going down the roller coaster of spice. Oh the heat is building, really? but it's not stopping. It won't stop. Oh, do you have a tongues? <laughs> it is intense pain. I can feel it. Yeah, it's right in the back of my throat. It touched there directly. How long does it take to go away? Do you know? No, you can't cheat. What is that? Just laugh. Yes, no, I won't do it. I got too much pride. <laughs> it's all in your head. You won't you die. Not? It won't kill you. In my brain, it's cooking my frontal cortex. Why do people do this? I should have heated her morning. She literally, <laughs> I took the spoon and she was like, no, no, no. Should we take another bite? Are you crying? I'm starting to feel like high, but I don't just think it's from the hyperventilating. Take another bite. Let's do it. <laughs> Guys watching, you want her to take another bite, right? I'm going to eat another bite right do now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Dang it. We make fun food videos on this show. I'm here to entertain, and I can't feel my face anymore anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. How do I look? Do I look good? <laughs> um, Ma'am, how long does it take for the pain to go away? A few minutes? That's nothing. This does not compare to any spice I've ever had in my life. It feels like it's literally cooking the inside of my mouth. It feels like my throat is blistering. It's the worst pain in my life. We did. Boom. Put your eyes. The owner just said if we eat a little bit more of this, the pain will go away. That doesn't add up at all. I don't believe her. Let's get some ice cream and let's jump into the conclusion that we filmed before we ate all this nonsense. Okay. <sighs> Guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is a company in Vietnam putting on amazing tours throughout the entire country. Right now in Saigon, Da Nang, and Hoi An. They do all kinds yeah, of tours, it. from food tours. So, put him on it. Oh yeah, would never do that, ever, in my life. I would do it. Like, there's, we went to, the spiciest food we had in India was in, in Rajasthan. Rajasthan. It's easily. Uh, the spiciest food. Uh, even at the one that you guys saw at the palace that we went to, it was delicious food. Delicious Some of the food. best food we had. Really good food. But it was very spicy. There's one you didn't see because the audio and video was so terrible. We went to this famous place. That was a really cool place, actually, mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in uh, Jaipur. Uh, that was extremely really spicy hot. food. Yeah, uh, really hot. That, that we had. I remember saying to Indrani, because we walked out of there, and I said, I hope Corbin's okay. That because... That was really hot. That was uh, extremely hot for yes, me. Yes, yes. Uh, I just, I'm sorry you guys couldn't see it. The, the audio and video was just terrible. Because uh, it was all at night. Well, the most, the most heat, I have never had a ghost pepper, but I have had mm. a um, habanero. And it's, it's not, you don't measure it in heat. At that point, what you're measuring is just pain. Just pain. It, it, it's a pain. That's what it I, hurts. That's what I measure most spicy things in. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's no. Pain. This is now some some spices I've had where your lips get numb and your nose is a little numb and you're dripping and your eyes are watering. That's awesome. But when you I can't disagree. taste and you're just in pain, that's what it is. <sighs> that's what it is when I eat a jalapeno, Rick. That's like <laughs> I've you've seen the contests where people are eating i've thought about doing like a spice challenge obviously i it wouldn't be very good with me because no. i would be out immediately we give you srk's nips and yeah. you're gonna be done but uh, i thought about having a, a, quite a few people in here 
uh, and Somebody bunch of Somebody's watching for the very first time. There's like, did he just say it's arcade nips? There's a whole salami joke there you've missed if you haven't seen anything till now. It's okay, it's salami nips, bro. Anyway, you were saying, I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean uh, that. But yeah, it's, I, I hate it. So what, what do you want to do? I don't know. For a there's just spice the, There's like Indian spice challenges yeah. that I've seen all over YouTube. Um, and so people like seeing people in pain. It's, it's, it's a true. fun thing. It's like you said, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a YouTube thing. Yeah. People like watching other people eat spicy stuff so they can see them in pain. Yep. I would not be good because I would be out way before the spiciest thing came along. Uh, <laughs> How do you think Stephanie would do? She's good with spice. Yeah, pretty good. She's not like a great, she's not like, she doesn't no, love, love spice, but she's good she, with she spice. She can handle it. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to me, who cannot. I think Leland can handle spice better than you. We've given him spice, and because um, she grows poblano peppers uh -huh. back here, um, and she made a pasta with it, and it was delicious pasta, but I couldn't handle it because it heat. got really spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could only have a couple bites. Leland, he got a bite, he was, <coughs> and he just kept eating. <laughs> Rock and roll. And so good man. It's happened a couple times, and I was like, I because I don't mind. I I hate not being able to eat certain things. Like, I don't like that. I don't like certain food. Right. I want to like everything. I right. I, like, it makes no sense to me when people are like, oh, I hate that. I hate, I don't like that. I don't like fish. Because I'm like, it just oh, takes away, shame. like, a bunch of stuff that you can eat. That's a good experience, yeah. But obviously, I hate that I can't eat because people seem to love spice. And I just, I, I can't do it. It's painful. So spicy fish would be really, really bad for you. I mean, probably have a lot in that Mingal, right? Spicy fish. Lots probably. of it. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know what other food videos we should react to, and uh, it's don't hard rub to, your eyes. It's hard to do food videos now because obviously we've had most of the Indian food, especially in India. In India, yeah, and so it's hard. Uh, as opposed to yeah, like unless you make it, which I, I haven't done well on my channel. Which is <laughs> 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 <laughs>